I want to run something by you. And this is going to be a peculiar share with you, I know. But it's something that I heard on a podcast earlier this week that revolves around death and dying. Now, we know that we're all going to be there eventually. I know a day is going to come where I will no longer be on this planet. <laughs> At least in this meat bag, this bag of skin of mine. But that's for all of us. I used to be afraid of death. I used to really fear death, but not so much anymore. But that's not what I want to talk about here. I want to share with you the fear of death because so many fear it, I feel. It's the uncertainty of post-living. And when I think of it, or when I thought of it, my thought had gone to things like, what would my family do without me? But then it occurred to me just to go deeper because there's a lot of awareness out there around the fear of death, at least from my experiences. And when I'm thinking about death, it's robbing me quite literally of my present self. And that's what I thought when I was listening to this podcast. And in addition to the fear of death, which I believe many people have, how many people fear living? And I know it's crazy to think about, but think about this. How many people, millions of people, probably even you, think they're alive, but they're not living, they're dead. They might be in their body, they have consciousness, but they're dead. And my intention is not to be morbid here, but just to provide a perspective. Let me go here with this. People are in their body and they're in their consciousness, but they're dead. Why? Because they live in fear. They live in fear their entire life. Fear of very visceral and temporal things. Fear of abandonment, fear of judgment, fear of inadequacy, fear of not being great enough. Dare I say, the fear of failure, when failure is just simply feedback. Fear of relationships, fear of love, fear of falling in love, fear of money, fear of health, obviously. But all these things are every bit temporal. And I don't know what your beliefs are around death. I, I believe in transition. But I'm not here to debate your beliefs and what they are. I'm simply just thinking of a perspective, a perspective in the fear that we live in. How people, many I know, live a life of fear. They're not actually living. And the fear runs all the way till the wheels fall off for death to eventually arrive. When eventually our body here, this physical, is no longer here. Now, I'm not saying or suggesting that you shouldn't fear death. I'm just asking how much fear can you release in the present? So you're not living a fearful life, a life of paralysis, not getting up and living your true purpose. How long are you gonna to choose to live in fear? What's that fear costing you? What's it costing you to not step out of your comfort zone and live a life more meaningful? Are your kids watching you operate through fear if you have kids or grandkids? I don't know what your current trepidations are, but I know we all have them. And it's extremely liberating on the other side. Why are you fearing death when the fear is paralyzing you right here? <laughs> Consider it as you get on with your day. Make it a day less fearful than it's worth repeating.